Um, we just didn't. We had our moments. You know, we had our chances to win the game. We had our chances to to get back to level on the game, and um, probably didn't execute real well. Tone and didn't come up with the right plays at the right time. Does it stem earlier than that? You know, when you're 16 nil up, and you know, I think AJ's there. They score. They just invite them back into the game. Is that where it's kind of it's setting in? Yeah, we're side down on confidence at the moment, Tone, and we're not handling it real well. You know, when we're, things are going out well, we're going, we're going very well. You know, we, we look like a football team, but, um, you know, when things, a bit of adversity comes our way, we, we just, we don't handle it real well. You know, it's, I mean, they care, you know, they're, they're trying, but it's a little bit of a case of, you know, em, embracing the moment when that time comes in a game, when the game's on the line there to be won and, and give me the ball and, and embracing those big moments. And at the moment, you know, we don't have enough players that are willing to embrace that moment. But, you know, they're trying hard, you know, they're working hard and, they're, and it hurts them. I can, I'm sick of seeing sad faces in the sheds every week. You know, I, I can see how hard they're hurting and they're just a little bit down on confidence at the moment. Is it time, Garth, to start making some serious changes? Maybe to your spine, maybe to the side itself? <laughs> I've had some changes to my spine every week so far this year. That doesn't seem to be working, so... Um, no, I don't think so. I think it's I think it's anything actually to try and get some combinations and get some continuity amongst these guys. You know, it's you know that's probably the biggest thing we're, we're lacking at the moment. Is and when when the pressure moments come, we just don't have that that combinations that that um, that cohesion that we're looking for at the right time. A bit of a reshuffle starting Jesse in centres and starting Tyrone on the bench. Are you going to persist with that? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's something I'll look at. You know. I, don't think it cost us the game, so. Um, but it's something I'll certainly tinker with and have a look at, and and um, and discuss it further before I make any rash decisions. But certainly it's not after a loss like that or after a game. What did you think of Tyrone's performance coming off the bench like that, using him in that sort of position? Yeah, I thought he, you know, does great, was great, creative there. He brought some energy, you know, which is what Tyrone Peachy brings. So it's. It's um, something that I'll I'll certainly look at as we as we progress through. But making changes is not the answer. It's it's about trying to get some combinations and getting some guys to work with each other. And we're not we're not far away. You know, it's I know we, we haven't had the wins that we'd like, but we've been in the fight and we've been in positions to win games nearly every every game so far this year. You know, I was in a at a, at a club that we're getting beat by forty or fifty or sixty points, and yeah, I'd be I'd be really concerned. But you know, we're just a bit side that's a little bit down on confidence at the moment, and you know, I said. A few weeks ago, you know, no one knows where confidence goes and no one knows where it comes from, but it can come and go very quickly, and that's just something that we need to find. And to do that, we just got to keep working hard. Yeah, I guess a, a positive uh, Jared Wallace in mean, a, a big game, and I suppose it was a bit of a statement uh, with the Queensland uh, team to be picked in a couple of weeks. Yeah, look, I mean, I thought Jared played really well. Now, as far as Origin goes, that's that's not really my concern. I'll, he, I'm glad that he played well for the for the Titans today. He, um, he's probably been a little bit inconsistent so far this Jared. He'll probably be the first one to say that. He had a really good game against Penrith and then he obviously had a bit of a stimulus sideline with suspension. So consistency is something Jared's probably, probably been needs to work on so far this year. But yeah, today he had, a, he had an enormous game. I was really happy with the performance he put in, especially especially being down Shannon Boyd and you know, a bit of a bit of senior, seniority in the in the pack. He sort of sort of embraced that. Did you think that charge down a, was a very, uh, interesting uh, finish there but but it was a rule to knock on? Uh, I've, I've given up on reference decisions, to be honest. But, I mean, it looked like a knock on to me. I can't probably argue with that too much. I don't know what the rule is, but it looked like it, he had a second grab at it and knocked it on. So, look, I can't argue with that. But I, I'm, I'm tired of <laughs> discussing referees' decisions going against us all, one way or the other. How do you gauge Ash's confidence at the moment? You talk about owning a result and, and the difference out there tonight is probably Kieran Foran getting the job done for his team when he, when he needed to. Where's Ash's confidence at in terms of wanting to own the result? Yeah, I think it's probably still a work in progress, Tony. It's probably a fair comment. He, he's trying hard, you know, and he's, he's feeling in there at the moment. You know, he's he hasn't had a real good run with injuries at the start of the year, and he's another one that's sort of just lacking that that week in, week out, some combinations with the halfback and the fullback behind him. And, you know, so the more they can play together, the better Ash will get. How much of the team's confidence comes off Ash? Um, I don't think it sits solely on Ash. You know, I think... You know, there's, I mean, Tyrone put his hand up there today in the shed and sort of he could have been better today in certain areas and, you know, a lot of players in there know where they can be better, you know, but it's not a it's not a finger pointing or a blame exercise for us at the moment. It's We're all in this together and we're all going to work hard and we're not going to use referees' excuses or, you know, injuries' excuses. We're, we've just got to keep working hard and, and um, you know, and, and get that the beliefs there, just that confidence that we need to show and, 
you know, we're great when things are going well, but when things aren't going well, and that's that comes down to where we're sitting at the table. We you know the bit of pressure there, and they're just not handling well at the moment. Your club captain's injured. How do you develop that leadership gap? Because that seems like what's lacking out there is just someone to say, look, this is what needs to happen, and this is how we do it. Yeah, well, I mean, there's there's some senior players in that football side, and um, but it's it's not. I can't just put my finger on that. I think it's a it's a full team effort about how we handle situations when when things don't go well, whether a referee's decision doesn't go our way or as a knock on or a penalty or whatever it might be. There, they're just things we've got to be better at. And at the moment, when you're down on confidence, it, it tends to exaggerate the problem more so than what it really is, you know. And uh, I'm, look, I'm I'm super confident we can turn it around. It's it's just a matter of we need to do it soon. What'd you just, reinforce at half time? Sorry, what'd you reinforce? Oh, I just keep keep focusing on our processes and and not worry about the result as much as what we we tend to do, you know. And we knew they come back and they had a few things go their way, and they'll um, you know they come back in the in the in the first half there to reduce the margin. But I didn't want the boys to panic. I just said, look, stay calm and and just keep pray our processes and keep sticking to what got us to where we were in the first place, and and um, and just keep building pressure. I know you're trying to build the faith on the side, but how are you feeling as a first grade coach? Your second year in your career and obviously with the start that you've had, the worst start to the club's history, how are you feeling in, in terms of not only your tenure, but yourself trying to learn as a, as a first grade coach? Yeah, look, tenure is not something I'm concerned about at all. You know, end of the day, that's out of my control. Um, what I am focused on is trying to get the boys to win. You know, I, I love, love, the, love the club, I'm passionate about the club and the fans, and I, I feel for them. I, I just want. I just want them to, to win and I'll do everything I can to try and enable that to happen. I'll do everything, the best of my ability to try and make that happen. The rest of it I can't control. That's out of my, out of my, um, out of my control. But I mean, the thing is, it's what makes it easy for me to stay focused is, you know, I read Tony Webbick's article today on in the NRL.com on Jesse Arthur's, you know, things like that <laughs> makes it pretty real, you know, and when you, that was a fantastic article, article that Tony read, wrote and, you know, they're the things that ram home to you what's, what's important in life. So that, Keeps my focus pretty clear. Just speaking of the confidence of the group, you've got the great man Mel Meninga there as a cultural and performance manager. Is, would you welcome him in this week to have a chat to the boys, uh, to maybe to sort of boost the confidence or words Mal, of advice? Mal's around the club as it is. You know, I don't have to invite Mal into the dressing sheds or into the training sessions. You know, Mal's, Mal's involved in the club and he's around the club. So, um, you know, we've got a good working relationship, me and Mal. So, um, you know, he's, he's already in around the club, so I don't have to invite him in. What about for yourself, though, Garth? Like, he's the Australian coach. He's, I know there's been, like, a transference of information between the two of you, but is he someone that you can genuinely lean on and, and, and say, you know, look, what do I need to do here and that sort of stuff? Yeah, well, what my discussions between me and Mal, I'm going to keep to myself, but and between him and Mal, but... Myself and Mal, sorry. Um, but, yeah, look, yeah, Mal, Mal's involved with the club and, 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 and we, do, we do discuss, you know, the team and how we're travelling quite regularly. Thanks. Thanks, guys.